Kurt has uh, broken a stud off in his knuckle. Anyways, so you need to extract it. Because I'm a knucklehead. A knucklehead. Uh, there's different ways you can do it. You can use the metric stud extractor. You put that on there and it has a cammed piece in there that would basically grab onto that, but he broke it off nice, too nice and close, so it won't grab it. Usually it's in there broken off and seized up because it's dissimilar metals. Through electrolysis, they'll basically weld themselves together. Heat is your best friend and something like that. If you haven't broken it and it's looked, you think you're gonna break it, a little bit of heat on there on the outside will make it all, all better. Uh, if you don't have that, you can take and do my favorite way. He has a little bit sticking out there, so we can use a nut. We'll put a nut over top of it. We'll weld through the inside of the nut to it, which will create heat into it. We'll break the, the bond and then it'll come out. Sometimes you have to do it a couple times, but we'll see. So you find the size of nut you want. If you look at this one, it's just a bit too small, so it doesn't fit right over it. You could use it if that's all you had. Grade eight nut here fits over it really nicely. If you look down in there, you can see that you can get the welder right in there and put a big glob of good hot weld on there. This being a grade eight nut, it's uh, got a coating on it that if you weld on that, you will, it'll give off toxic gases and you'll have a cough like mine. <coughs> you can clean that up by grinding it, get all that galvanized piece or stuff off there. You just go to a grade five bolt, which is, we don't care about the grade quality. We're welding it anyways, so we're gonna take any temper out of it. That has no coating on it. You can put that on there. We have our negative on there already. Aluminum's a conductor. We set up our welder for it. Argon on, we do have argon. It's all about safety. That's right. Safety second. Safety third. Third, wow. I like to cut off the end of the, the wire just because it's, it's burning on there. It's got some slag on it or whatever. Oh, there's lots of puddle. Perfect. Is, I promise you it's not gonna be fun. We tried the weld technique, but it broke. And then we did it three times, it, it broke. Three times, yeah. When all else fails, drill it out. First things first, make sure the bolt is flat. If it is not flat, you may have to use a Dremel tool to make it flat. However, that is something to go over in another video. Next, use a center punch to help make sure that your drill bit lines up in the right place. And make sure when you start drilling that you hold the drill straight up and down and not on an angle. Trust me, it will make it harder. No, he was gonna put a tap in there, and I can tell you from when I use the impact gun, don't do that. Yeah. Like if if this will not move, do not do three welded nuts. Not use an easy out. Got these ones here. Um, you tap that in there. The problem is with these is they are super hardened steel. When they break, they break, and you're done because you can't drill them out. That's right, now, folks. So if you're in this situation and that thing locked up before it broke, you're gonna have to drill it out. And right now, because this is not a blind hole, because it comes out right at the bottom here, uh, right there, yep. we can drill through it and- Nut and bolt. Nut and bolt. Sometimes, sometimes you can drill it out thin enough mm -hmm. you can pick it out. so it starts to crumble. And I have used a tap to push out a broken bolt. I have used that a couple times. It's not all the time. Most of the time when it's at this stage, you're so out of luck, you're having to do this. So let's go ahead and do that now. Sometimes also if you get it too so super thin, it'll actually catch it with the bit and spit it right out the bottom. That's what we're kind of hoping for. So far that's not working, so we're just gonna keep upping the size until it basically wears out. Very rarely, also, I have been able to use a punch, and it's a specific punch, so you can get it in on an angle, you can chip away at it, and you can crack the bolt going down. Uh, haven't been successful on that one in a the last little while. So let's see what happens. That thing is like way too thin. That's like fused to it. It's good and seized, buddy. 
good and seized. We'll go with the three eighths. That's right. Bigger is better. So let's see what this three eighths. Pretty much that's probably the size of this hole. Three eighths. Yeah, that's about right. About 10 mil threads. Yeah, it would, it'll actually take the right to the edge of the threads. So I might be able to run a tap down if he's able to get this. Oh, it's gone. There it is. Mint. That is the, and you can even see some threads in there still. There are some threads, but I wouldn't trust them. No, I wouldn't trust them to hold anything. No. So what we'll have to do is I'll have to get a 10 mil bolt um, and throw it in there. Or three eighths, but I should probably just stick. Yeah, so I. That's actually, is there threads in there? Well, the threads in the bottom were stripped. Yes, I know that. That's why it locked up. That's why it locked up. Well, what happens, so what happens is that bolt sticks right out the bottom. And so it sticks just far enough out the bottom. So it, it uh, likes to rust up and, and then of course, with metal and aluminum, it really bonds together. It makes a nice fusion. If you look on there, that's the inside of the, see, that's what we drilled out. That took that and spun it out just like we were hoping. That's what was left of the threads on the bottom. So Ooh. the threads were totally gone on the bottom. You might get it because it's thinner than that. Like it's, it, you might get a tap in there. They got it pretty darn close to the center. You got it exactly in the center. He was amazing. That would not be me. I would be putting, I would be drilling that out bigger. And, yeah. <laughs> not quite that bad, but close, close. So now that that's done, we can go home, yeah. we can tap it and see Try what it. happens see what, how much you have left. and and then we can torque it down and see if it strips if it strips when we torque it then yeah. it's no good we'll have to drill it out and we'll do a through bolt with a bolt with a nut on the other end but <coughs> just in case you're ever wondering that's how you take a bolt out when you break it off in aluminum the key is not to do what i did don't use an impact gun if it is not coming take your time i actually use I used that to get the other bolt out. It was so painstaking, but I can guarantee you it did not take over an hour to take that out because this has definitely been about an hour and a half of farting around. So one thing I would suggest if you have a problem like this one where you have that bolt sticking out the bottom and you know it's all damaged, the threads are all damaged, you can, if you can take your shield off, you can get a, a flapper disc or something like that in there and file or grind away all the bolts so it's flush with the aluminum and then try taking out then you're not going to be damaging the threads as you come out too um, that'd be one thing i'd try as well uh, but that's if you know it's going to be a problem if you've done these before and kurt now has and i have now um yeah i would probably take this heat shield off or the or the dust shield off and grind that off that way you're got a bit more of a chance to make it right as you can see de definitely that that piece falls right down in there now um, with the amount of threads that were damaged at the bottom. There you go everyone. That is it for this video. So I'm going to go back to the house and I'm going to try to do some magic there and hopefully everything works. If you like this video, hit that like button, consider subscribing and hit the bell the notification so you don't miss any more content. If you're like me and you like to painfully do horrendous things to yourself, maybe take a look at this video over here where we extract a bolt out of an aluminum head. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Take care. We'll see you in another episode of Southdown Garage. Bye for now.